the entertainment and deliver that jaw-dropping wow factor, political humorist and world-class impersonator Tim Waters is sure to drive home a hysterical performance. I don't know about these jokes you put in to start off the speech, George. I'm not a comedian. I'm the president. But it doesn't stop there. With his ability to capture the voice, movements, and persona of President Clinton, Tim not only captivates your audience, but engages them in his interactive multimedia show that draws laughs from both sides of the aisle. Tim is an event planner's dream, with his professional, easygoing manner offstage and his over-the-top, uncanny performance on stage. Good evening, my fellow Americans. It is truly an honor to be here today with such a distinguished group of people. I would like to thank each and every one of you for attending today's $25,000 a seat Hillary 2012 fundraiser. Thank you very much. We appreciate your support. It's great to be here in Munster, Indiana. Actually, it is great to be anywhere Hillary isn't these days. <laughs> She's still kind of ticked off at me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, folks, we moved to uh, Chappaqua, New York, so that my wife could be senator. And, uh, well, we've got a lovely two-story home there. And, well, as usual, Hillary will have her story, and I'll have mine. We recently celebrated a wedding anniversary, and she said to me, she said, Bill, why don't you just take me somewhere that I've never been before? So I walked her into the kitchen, and uh, a lot of fun. You know, I must say that our, our marriage is stronger than it's ever been. We make it a point of going out for two romantic dinners each week. I go out on Mondays and Fridays, and she goes out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so that's been working out quite well. Since first appearing as the president in 1992, Tim garnered the attention of the international media and has had countless appearances on numerous major television and radio networks from coast to coast. Tim has appeared on shows including Fox News' Huckabee Show with Governor Mike Huckabee, CBS's Hollywood Squares, NBC's Spy TV, and WWE's Monday Night Raw. Tim was a regular guest star on the syndicated television show The News and was a favorite on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, appearing more than 200 times. Those are all beef there, you know. My God, <laughs> is that President Clinton? Yes, it is. <laughs> He's a huge... Well, you man. damn fool, you could have been on the show. <laughs> Tim's stunning portrayal can be seen in several Hollywood films, including Contact with Jodie Foster, Naked Gun 33 and a Third with Leslie Nielsen, and Casino Jack with Kevin Spacey. With that said, President Clinton, do you have any advice for President Obama or Governor Taylor? What is, it takes a village, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stole that from Hillary. <laughs> oh, man. Stimulus bill. What is good? What is bad? What is my nickname? <laughs> Finally, immigration. What is the fabric of America? What is illegal? What is very affordable lawn care? <laughs> now, as many of you may have heard, my daughter Chelsea was recently married, and I had the chance to walk her down the aisle and give her away. Something I've been trying to do to her mom for many, many years now. <laughs> But, uh, you know, you can never tell when I... Hello? Oh, hey, honey, how you doing? No, no, there's no women here. Listen. Honey, it, it's time for my rebuttal. No, not her butt. My butt. I mean, I, I butt. All right, look, honey, I got to go. I'll see you. All right. Love you too, sweetheart.
As a former real estate agent and an 18-year veteran in the entertainment industry, Tim is no stranger to the camera or large audiences. With customized material, including your industry-specific terminology, your audience will enjoy a show designed expressly for them. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank my good friend Roy Dominguez. Where are you, Roy? Roy Dominguez for having us here today. Hey, how you doing, Roy? Hey, Roy, do you remember that night when we were down at the old casino in French Lick? <laughs> Neither do I, man. <laughs> But I know we had a whole lot of fun, and uh, I sure hope that presidential pardon worked out for you. <laughs> Would you mind reflecting on some of those controversies? Indeed, I did have a relationship with Mr. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. I can't believe y'all bought that speech that night. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Over the years, Tim has been delivering clean corporate performances. His live comedic show is perfect any time of day and is one your audience will never forget. The post-show meet and greet will provide your attendees with a take-home photo that will be a timeless memento of your corporate or private event. Tim has performed for thousands of associations and top corporations, including IBM, Forbes, Pfizer, and McDonald's. He will bring joy to your attendees and help them to relax and laugh big between seminars and breakout groups. He talks like him, he smiles like him, he even moves his lips like him. Now, I've worked very hard to get this bill passed. Hey! Hey! What are you doing up there? Are you listening? <laughs> Ain't nobody listening to you, Barry. Come on, man! <laughs> if you listen to the Fox News crowd, well, you'd think my eight years in office was a, a total disaster. But let me tell you something. I had a whole lot of fun in the Clinton years, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. But do you know what the secret is? You know what the secret is to a successful administration? No, I'm asking. <laughs> Tim's continuous radio and television appearances keep his calendar full, so lock him in early and prepare for your most successful event yet. But you know, folks, uh, I must tell you this little story. It was back when I was in office, and... Uh, Hillary and I were headed to a function one evening up in Chicago. And we got a little low on gasoline, so the Secret Service had us pull into one of the designated filling stations. Uh, the attendant came out, and it turned out that Hillary and the attendant knew each other. They went to high school together there in Chicago, and they had actually dated for a short period of time. So they talked over the good old days. And as we were pulling away, I turned to Hillary and I said, you see that, Hill? If you'd have married him, you would be the wife of a gas station attendant. And she said, no, Bill, if I'd have married him, he'd be president. I took the blows. I did it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you all.